If you look at magazines or articles or the definition of entrepreneurs out in the market today, one of the things you will see repeated over and over again is that entrepreneurs are risk takers. I disagree for very specific reasons, and I think after you hear my explanation, you may too. I'm Alex Sharfin, and this is the Momentum Podcast, made for empire builders, game changers, trailblazers, shot takers, record breakers, world makers, and creators of all kinds. Those among us who can't turn it off and don't know why anyone would want to. We challenge complacency, destroy apathy, and we are obsessed with creating momentum so we can roll over bureaucracy and make our greatest contribution. Sure, we pay attention to their rules, but only so that we can bend them break them, then rewrite them around our own will. We don't accept our destiny, we define it. We don't understand defeat because you only lose if you stop, and we don't know how. While the rest of the world strives for average and clings desperately to the status quo, we are the minority, the few, who are willing to hallucinate there could be a better future, and instead of just daydreaming of what could be, we endure the vulnerability and exposure it takes to make it real. We are the evolutionary hunters, clearly the most important people in the world, because entrepreneurs are the only source of consistent, positive human evolution, and we always will be. Here's my contention. As an entrepreneur, you are not a risk taker. In fact, that's the definition that society wants us to adopt. They want want us to say we are risk takers. In fact, they categorize as us as risk takers. And why? let's be real. The rest of the world is not like us. If you haven't yet, go back and listen to the episode I have on the four different types of people. We are the evolutionary hunters. We get up every morning, go into the future, create a new reality, come back to the present and insist it becomes real. To the rest of the world, that seems crazy, ludicrous, like something that just doesn't even seem sane. And so they describe us as risk takers. But see, I don't think that entrepreneurs are actually risk takers. I actually deny that definition. I turn down that definition. I don't even like the definition. See, I think that as entrepreneurs, we mitigate risk. We do everything we can to resolve risk and to get risk out of our lives. In fact, whenever we make a decision, whenever we do something to move forward, we are moving in the direction of momentum, which means that it would be more of a risk to stand still, to stay in place, and to do nothing. But to the rest of the world, doing nothing and accepting the status quo and being like everyone else is the least risky place to be. But you know that even as I said that, Accepting the status quo, doing nothing, being like everyone else. Doesn't that feel like the most risky thing in the world? Doesn't that feel like at the end of your life, you'll look back and think, why did I do that? Why didn't I go out and do what I wanted? Make a difference, make a change and create my greatest contribution. This is why we're not risk takers. See, I've been working with entrepreneurs for over 20 years and we actually drive towards success and we act on certainty. As entrepreneurs, we move forward when we are certain. We stop procrastination when we know exactly what we're doing. We will go forward as fast as we possibly can can. when we have clarity of purpose and we know that what we're doing is moving us forward, we get into momentum and nothing can stop us. Let's be honest, as entrepreneurs, maybe the only risk that we take is that we're in a high enough level, when we're in a high enough level of momentum, we'll stop eating because we don't want anything to get in the way. And we drive towards success in a way that the rest of the world just doesn't understand. So they label us as risk takers. And I put this out there, I bring this up, I share this with you with a purpose. See, I've watched entrepreneurs that their whole lives have been told are risk takers and they finally achieve a level of success and then they start doing crazy things like taking risks, which they've never done in their lives. We've acted on certainty our whole lives and then you see entrepreneurs start gambling or doing something crazy or you know, literally rolling the dice with different areas of their lives and we don't need to do that. See, what drives us what makes us different than the rest of the world, what gives us fulfillment, what puts us into f- to momentum is having certainty of purpose, knowing that what we're doing every day is driving to a clear outcome. And then on a daily basis, measuring our progress towards that outcome so, you know, so we know with transparency that we are actually creating success. 
And we have, when we have clarity as to what we're doing and the people around us are doing, we will go faster than any other group of people on the planet towards our goals, building our empires, and making our greatest contribution. So I reject the label of risk takers for people like us. In fact, what we really are, we are the world makers, the game changers, the empire builders. We are the most important people in the world because every day we get up and we ask, what can be different? What can be better? What can be changed? How do we improve the status quo, not just for us, but for everyone? So the next time you hear someone refer to entrepreneurs as risk takers, I want you to pause and think about this podcast. Think about what I've said and think about the fact that as entrepreneurs, we act on certainty, we create momentum, and when we do, that's when we go out and change the world. And just because the rest of the world, just because the communicators and the coordinators and the caretakers, the people who live for the present, the other types of humans on this planet, don't ever think about going out and changing things. In fact, they strive for average and cling desperately to the status quo. And they look at people like us who want to change things and, and make things better and make things different and put new solutions in the world as absolutely crazy until we sell something. Then we're seen as brilliant. Every, every entrepreneur is crazy until they sell something. Then they're a visionary. Don't let them convince you you're a risk taker because you aren't. You are an evolutionary hunter, and every day you get up to go on the hunt, to be on the hunt, to stay in momentum, to make a bigger kill, and as you approach that kill, you know it loses importance to you, so you go right on to the next one, and the people around you can't understand why you're going so fast and why you don't just sit down, slow down, and stop making everyone else uncomfortable because we all know that the greatest risk of all is not making our greatest contribution. The greatest risk of all is not building our empire. The greatest risk of all is standing still, playing it safe, and being part of the crowd. You are different. You are an evolutionary hunter. You are an entrepreneurial personality type. And throughout history, every person who matters to be remembered thought just like us. They got up every single morning looking to make new outcomes, to change the world, to make things better, to leave this world a better place and make their greatest contribution. And if you remember, if you think back through history of anyone you remember, anyone that matters to be remembered, they were just like us. And not only were they like us, That is your tribe. That is your birthright. That is who you are. So don't let anyone tell you you're a risk taker. You're an evolutionary hunter. And there's nothing as certain for us as going out on the hunt. I want to thank you for listening to this podcast. And if you're ready to get to bigger outcomes, create even more change in the world, grow your business, increase your profitability, feel better about where you are, know exactly where to focus on a daily basis and make more happen in the world, go to MomentumMasterclass.com. Watch the short video that we have there and see how you can install the keystone habits that great entrepreneurs throughout history used to create their greatest outcomes. MomentumMasterclass.com. I look forward to seeing you there.